everybody, this is Constantine Weinfeld. I'm back on YouTube and this is a new harmonica lesson on a tune called Work Song, written by Ned Adderley. Um, it was published in 1960 on the eponymous album Work Song and it was written in the key of F. Um, and since it's a very bluesy tune, we want to play it in second position. So that's why I chose the B-flat harmonica to do that. Um, so yeah, it's very bluesy because, again, we're dealing with the three chords that we're familiar with from the 12 bar blues form. The one chord, the four chord and the five chord. Um, they just occur in different positions in this tune. So that's a little uncomfortable for us, um, but a thing worth to check out for us. Okay, so that's the introduction. Um, let me just play the melody once, um, a little slower than the original tempo, so you can get the melody into your ears and then we'll break each part of the melody down and check out the different techniques I'm using to add more color to the melody. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's check out the melody. Um, all the stuff I'm talking about here that happens um, within the first four to six bars um, will be played over an F minor seven chord. So um, we're starting out on an F, playing two whole draw two times, and I'm saying harder through the instrument. Harder. After that, I'm moving up a minor third to three whole half tone band. That's an A flat. Then I'm playing four whole blow, which is a B flat. So um, that's the note I'm playing pretty short here. So I'm not articulating it from the beginning on, but I'm rather just um, let the note be articulated by the harmonica itself and um, just by my breathing. And then I'm stopping the note pretty quickly, um, going with my tongue up against the roof, the upper roof of my mouth. So that's a different kind of staccato effect that works pretty well on blow notes here. Then I'm going up to four whole draw. Two times four whole draw, then I'm going back to four whole blow, and then again four whole draw and five whole draw, that's the highest note of the phrase. So the whole thing again. The second phrase is also played over the F minor 7 and is just a little variation of the first phrase. So it starts out with the first three notes, first four notes that are exactly the same. But instead of going to four draw now, we are moving back to two whole draw, our root note, which is the F. And I'm playing two whole draw two times saying harder again, then I'm going down to two whole whole tone band and going back to the root note. And I'm not articulating the two whole whole tone band at all, I just try to hit it as fast as possible and as exactly as possible, um, but I'm rather articulating the draw note after that, the two whole draw. So yeah, these are the first two phrases. Now we're in bar five and six, I think, um, and we're playing the first phrase again. And now we have a different chord, and that's why we're playing five all over blow now too. So the next chord played by the band is a C7, and the third of that is the E, and that's the melody note here. So that's why we're moving up to 5 all over blow. So that's 4 whole draw, 2 times, 5 whole draw, 
Back to forward roll, and then I'm moving up to the over blow. Forward roll, forward blow, forward roll. Um, we're ending with a very, very bluesy phrase. And this one is pretty long, so let's break it down in different parts. I'm going to the octave here. 3 hold blow and 6 hold blow at the same time. So I have holes 3, 4, 5 and 6 in my mouth. Um, and I'm blocking holes 4 and 5 at the same time. Um, and I'm playing the both sides of my mouth. <laughs> then we're going back to lip pursing, playing 5 hold draw. And then I'm playing the tritone um, of the root key of F. So that's a B for whole half tone band. And these notes are played very fast. And it's a slide, so um, we don't have to think about the notes too much here. I'm just letting that triton up to the regular four hold draw note, which is C. After that, I'm moving back into the band. And then I'm just sliding down to two hold draw, back to the root note. So we don't want to think about what happens on three hold draw. It will be some kind of a band, maybe a quarter step or something. It's just about the rhythm and um, yeah, the exact placement of the two hold draw and the end of the phrase. Um, and right when I get there, I'm already moving to four hold blow to the B flat. And after that I'm actually using three hold blow instead of two hold draw because it's just easier for the breathing pattern here. Three hold blow. A lot of blue thirds here, um, two times. Three old half tone band, back to two hold draw, and then three old half tone band again, and four hold blow. <laughs> One of the last phrases here, two hold draw two times, three old half tone band, four hold blow. Running out of battery. battery, battery. Two hold draw two times, two hold hold on band, back to two hold draw. And then I'm playing two times two hold draw, then I'm jumping up a tritone to four hold half tone band. Playing that as a single note, and then I play the double stop, four hold draw and five hold draw at the same time. And I let it fall down after that. Ow! Sing ow through the instrument. <laughs> then it's two hold draw, four hold blow, four half tone band. <laughs> and that's the ending phrase. Two hold draw, three hold half tone band. Going to the full half tone band, full hold blow, toy your half tone band, full hold blow, three hold half tone band, two hold draw, two hold whole tone band, back to the root note. <laughs> and there are some nice phrase beginnings um, in the melody where I can use the regular draw chord which is the F chord here, holds one, two, three, draw. Um, playing them at the same time as a grace note before I'm moving into two hold draw. So I have holds one, two, three in my mouth. And right after that, I'm just focusing the air on two hold draw and I get that percussive tongue blocking effect. Although I'm not tongue blocking.
that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and if so, you can give the video a thumbs up or you can share the video with your Monica friends. That would be great. And yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Go down to the comments below and drop me a line there. And if you want to get in touch for private Skype lessons, you can do that using my email address linked below in the description box. So yeah, I hope to see you soon in a new harmonica video. Till then, bye.